Welcome to What's Cooking with Tony. Hi, I'm Tony of Easton Way, also known as Easton Foodie. I'm here at Easton Town Center's California Pizza Kitchen after receiving a phone call from Tracy Conger, the managing partner, about the new pizza that they're going to be offering here at CPK. Come with me because we're going to check out just how easy it is to make this pizza. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm good. What's cooking? Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff today. We got Ricardo in the kitchen today. Making up two of our awesome pizzas. We've got our mushroom pepperoni sausage, wild mushroom. Great, let's get started. All right, Ricardo, go ahead and take it away. We'll start Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, so, today we want to be making some um, uh, good pizzas. Uh, we want to start with our awesome um, pizza dough. Um, it's right on temp, like around 70 degrees. Uh, we're using some uh, wheat flour um, just to uh, give a little bit more volume. And then, so you see, we have here what we call donuts. Uh -huh. um, uh, so, what we want to do is take our hands and then make a little bit of the ring uh, of the dough. Just press it down. So, once we have the donuts like that, um, we just want to put Now the uh, fun begins. <laughs> I'm going to put, you know, uh, the hands down on the pizza. Okay. Uh, and just stretch it. Um, our pizzas are about 11 inches. Okay. So we'll give, you know, a couple stretches right here. Like 11 inches. Uh, when the moon like hits your eye like, eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Wow. Uh, <laughs> when the moon a little bit more. Okay. shine oh. like it had too much wine. A little bit of flour. Uh, just to make sure the dough doesn't get stuck on the bottom. Um, and here you see we have our perfect cream. Um, that's what we want. So when we cook the pizza in the oven, we're going to uh, make this beautiful cream. Okay, so that's why you did this in the beginning. Yeah, so that's, nice that's why we start okay. with the cream. Um, we want to start with the wild mushroom pizza. Okay. Um, so we have the base. So basically it's uh, extra virgin olive oil and some garlic. So all the way to the pizza. And a couple of the great things with these items that we're making right now, you can make these at home. Go to the store. All of the ingredients that we're using you can get at your local grocery store. You don't have to go to a specialty store. And everything is very, very simple. They're great family-oriented items. Bring the kids in, sit down at your counter or whatever, and just throw some flour down and have a good time with the family. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Cheese. Just because we want all the ingredients to, you know, the flavor, the use, flavors yeah, to come through. To come through. Um, we have some uh, wild mushrooms. Uh, those are creminis, okay. shiitakes, and the white mushrooms. We want to use those raw, so all the uses they start on the pizza. So we want to have all these uh, good flavor um, add to it. Um, so you see a lot of mushrooms on this pizza. You do use a lot of mushrooms. Uh, about how, is that like a cup or two? It's about like uh, four ounces of mushrooms. Okay. Um, and then we just want to put uh, portobellos on top. Uh, nice. The pizza. This pizza is ready to go to the oven. The only thing um, is red pepper. Uh, we just want to put about pizza. And how long in the oven? Um, our oven is about um, 550 degrees right now. Oh. So it's going to take us about 4 to 5 minutes. How long would it be in a traditional oven? You're going to cook probably around 10 to 12 minutes. If you want to set your oven around 350 to 400 degrees, that will get you about the 10 to 12 minute period of time. This is really awesome pizza. It's called Mapsa, mushroom pepperoni sausage. Um, here, the dough temp is the main reason oh, that you okay. can stretch the dough. Mm -hmm. If your dough is cold, there's no way you can stretch this uh, this dough. So if your dough is on temp, you can uh, play it really easy with the dough. Um, you can stretch it from, you can see the edges. Yeah. Right. So we want to stretch it from the edges. We don't want the middle to get really, really thin because uh, when we put it on the oven, it's going to break. It's going to tear. Okay. Yeah. So now we want to make our mozza pizza. Um, so we have the marinara sauce, the cheese, and then we have something different here. We use uh, basil leaves, mm -hmm. uh, fresh basil leaves. Uh, so what we do, we just stir them. We'll, we'll have, okay. We want to use those as uh, like a base. Uh, it's called fennel sausage. Fennel sausage, um, okay. It has this spicy kick to it. Um, 
pepperoni. Uh, now we have two different types of pepperoni. Spicy pepperoni and just regular, it's called like Tyson pepperoni. What we do now, we just stir them to have the same. Um, uh, and then for this pizza, we use the cremini mushrooms. Um, When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. For mozzarella pizza, we just want to use um, some wild oregano. And you definitely do not put this on until it's out of the oven. Yeah, it's out of the oven. What happens if you put it on before? Uh, it's just killing it's just, the flavor. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Smell the, the wild oregano. You can smell the oregano, like wild oregano, right? Oh, wow. Oregano. That was amazing. We have here the wild mushroom pizza. Uh -huh. uh, when it's done, we just put some parmesan cheese to give a little bit more flavor. Okay. Uh, truffle oil. Truffle oil. Um, oh. This is uh, the pizza. Yeah. That's what we want on California Pizza Kitchen. You know, we want uh, the ingredients to stand other than the cheese or the, the marinara sauce. The Easton Town Center California Pizza Kitchen um, is a test kitchen for the restaurants throughout the country. So tell me a little bit more about that, Tracy. Yes, we are. Um, we are actually a training store for CPK. Um, what that means is we actually train managers for the company, but we also get to test a lot of the new items that CPK is coming out with. Um, for example, what we're doing right now is our new pizza dough. Um, we, the old pizza dough that we used to have was a very uniform crust. This one is more of an organic artesian style dough. Um, and as we get to try these new things, our servers get to become more knowledgeable about it. And it's just great because of the clientele that comes in here, they're getting first crack at everything that we're doing now. Okay. Also, Tracy has paired some wines for us today with our pizza selection. And that's another thing that I think a lot of people maybe don't realize is that we do offer some nice wine selections here. We have a fantastic wine uh, wine list. Um, right now we're offering our Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio and our La Crema Pinot Noir. Um, and these are just some of the few selections. And um, We don't have a wine list where you're very unfamiliar with it. We want this to be more of a relaxed atmosphere with our wine and not to make anybody nervous, but just to have a come in, have a great glass of wine with your pizza or your salad or anything else that we have on our menu. I am ready to dig in, but first of all, I want to thank you both for allowing us to come in today. Let's toast. Until next time on What's Cooking with Tony, cheers.